What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, part 2 of the, uh, I guess, Fusion Reborn celebration or PyCon and Janemba celebration is officially here. And in today's video, as always, we're going to check out exactly what's going on together. So, with all that said, let's hop into the news here. Uh, there's the campaign info. And we have All Out Effort Otherworld Showdown Campaign Part 2 is on, various events are here, Vegeta Angel and Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose, who can both be token awakened into an LR or return in the legendary summon. Interesting. Not gonna lie, didn't really see this coming. Um, yeah, I kind of assumed that we just wouldn't get a new banner for part two, but I guess that's stupid because Obviously, we were going to get something, right? It's been a while since the Dual Dokkan Fest dropped, so they got to give us a new banner for part two of the celebration. And since there wasn't a new unit revealed on Twitter and nothing in the data download, obviously it had to be a re-release. So this actually makes a lot of sense. I just didn't really think about it. So there you go, guys. LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta and the Int LR Rosé from the Anniversary are coming back. Um, I'm assuming on the same banner. I mean, it doesn't say Top Legendary Summon, so they might be on separate banners, I guess. Uh, we'll find out soon. But either way, those are going to be the next banners on Global. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. I know some people are going to be really happy because this is a really good chance to save your stones for the anniversary, right? If you don't want these LRs that bad, or if you already have them, and uh, if you, you know, were hoping for a new unit, then you might be a little bit disappointed because obviously we're not getting one. Some people were even expecting a global first, and uh, yeah, that's not happening. Although, I do think we're still going to be getting a global first for uh, May for the Goku, Goten, and Go. Go, Goku, Goten, and Gohan Day celebration. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. But for now, we got a few older LRs coming back. I mean, they're not really that old. They're just, uh, you know, previously released LRs. And they're both really good still. Like, Vegeta especially, I think, is an amazing unit. Uh, Rose is really good offensively. Defensively, you know, a little bit lacking. Not too bad, but not the best. And he does have a few key issues sometimes. But, uh, yeah, they're both good. So, there you have it. And uh, we also have a new Prime Battle event for LR, Babidi, and Boo. And a new Extreme Z battle for the Kalkin Goku and Fizz Vegeta. So, uh, yeah, from there, let's see what we have. We got Part 2 missions for a total of 38 Dragon Stones. Actually, I think that's Part 1 and Part 2, so probably not 38 for, you know, just Part 2 missions, but some more stones, which is nice. And we also have some Dragonstone sales. Looks like your standard kind of trash sales. We got a 32 stone pack one time and a 91 stone pack three times. And in terms of the banners, yes, they are going to be separate banners, not a top legendary summon. A top legendary summon would have been nice. I'm just saying. But we get the Vegeta one first starting tonight until the 20th. And then we have the Rose one on the 20th to the 27th. So there you go, two separate banners if you guys are missing either of these. Or if you, I guess if you wanna know which one's better, I would go for the Vegeta, honestly, but that's totally your call. Uh, for the average player, I mean, I think the best move would be to actually skip both, but that's just my opinion, once again, okay? Now after that we have uh, the strongest eternal rival summon with uh, the Kaoken Goku and the Vegeta who you know are getting the Extreme Z Awakenings. And we also have a Elder Kai banner. We have the Prime Battle event for Babidi and Boo. Uh, I do plan to be streaming this, to be streaming, to stream this tomorrow. Uh, probably like fairly early, like around noontime or so because we are doing the entire Prime Battle grind you know, to get the LR, Bobbity, and Boo fully awakened in one stream. The last time I did it was for LR Krillin, and it took roughly eight hours. So I expect this one to take around the same time as well. So it's going to be a very long stream. If you guys plan to tune in, then bring some popcorn, bring some drinks, 
because uh, we're going to be there for a while. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully you guys can make it. If not, then it's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, that's happening tomorrow. We also have a new Extreme Z battle event, of course, for the uh, Vegeta and Goku. Also dropping tomorrow. And uh, there's a new Explosive Chain battle. Oh, it's also dropped. Yo, so much stuff is happening tomorrow, man. That's crazy. I thought this one was going to come out like in a week or so. But nah, it's also dropping on the 14th. So there you go. Explosive Chain battle versus the Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. The uh, effective characters or advantageous characters are Pycons, uh, Janembas, and uh, Angel Gokus. So make sure to use those guys for your supporter teams. And then we have a few story events coming back. We have the uh, World Tournament Reborn one, the Fearsome Majin, and also the Ultimate Final Battle versus Kid Buu. And then there are some token events available. We have the Majin Vegeta event, the Transforming Vegeta event, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event, and also the Kid Buu event. And uh, the reopening of the Vegeta Super Strike event, which I'm assuming is here for uh, super attack grinding purposes for the Fizz Vegeta. And then starting on the 20th, the Rosé event will be available every day for the rest of the campaign because uh, you need the medals there to awaken the LR Rosé, okay? And after that, we have two more story events returning on the 20th, the Future Trunk Saga event and the Metal Cooler event. And we're also going to be getting the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep Support Item Event on the 19th, which obviously means there's a new World Tournament on the way. The 36th World Tournament will officially start on April 22nd. This is the one that was uh, rescheduled from last month because of the, you know, support item issue, bug, glitch, game breaking thing. Y you guys remember, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, we have that. We have, of course, a World Tournament Support Pack. Uh, some World Tournament banners, and uh, you know, these two DB Saga story events returning, uh, as always, with World Tournaments. And there you go, guys. That pretty much does it for the Part 2 stuff. Actually, pretty eventful, uh, if you ask me, man. I mean, there's the Prime Battle LR, there's the Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awakenings, New Explosive Chain Battle, New World Tournament. Um, obviously, no new unit, but I think the events actually make up for the lack of new summonable unit. That's just my opinion. Of course, let me know how you guys feel about that. And uh, the rest of the stuff down here is just the part one stuff, so we don't have to go through that anymore. Obviously, the PyCon and Janemba banners are still going to be here, but I think the discounts are going to go away after reset. So if you guys still want to summon for them with the extra discounts, then make sure to summon uh, you know, as soon as possible. And uh, is there anything else in the news for us to really look at? Not really. I mean, there's the part two missions. Um, there's, of course, going to be a daily mission with one stone per day. Some meat here. That's always nice. And one plus six stones for a total of... Is it only six stones for part two missions? That's it? That's kind of sad. Um, okay, I guess there's six stones available for part two missions. It is what it is. But uh, there you go, guys. That's part two of the Fusion Reborn celebration. Hope you guys are looking forward to all the new stuff. Um, you know, in May, we will be getting the Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day celebration and probably a global first, like I said. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I know JP is getting the Tapion in Minosha, which looks amazing. Uh, we'll get that eventually though, but uh, just gotta be a little bit patient. But if you're a global player, if you've been playing global for an extended period of time, then you're probably used to waiting, so <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, the day long, or at least 8 hour long, uh, Prime Battle stream is happening. I will be streaming the Extreme Z Battle as well, and probably doing a video for the Angel Vegeta uh, chain battle. So lots of content coming your way tomorrow. And uh, that's it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If you're new here, then make sure to smash that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
signing out.